She's a really healthy ager. When we go for walks, people ask if she's a puppy. There are a lot of really good reasons to carry out the dog aging project. Um, people love dogs, and dogs age much more quickly than humans do. They, they die when they're much younger than we are, and so understanding how to keep dogs healthier longer is going to be good for dogs and good for the people who love dogs. The Dog Aging Project is going to recruit dogs of all ages, all breeds, purebreds and mixed, bred, mixed breed dogs, males, females from every region in the country, and our goal is to follow them for the rest of their lives. We are certain that a lot of what we learn about from dogs will apply to humans, and that we can learn about those things much more quickly than we'll be able to learn in humans, where similar studies are going on, but they take decades instead of years. My research group particularly prefers to study pet dogs as compared to dogs in a laboratory setting, because pet dogs live in diverse environments and eat diverse food and have diverse exercise schedules, very much like their human owners. There are lots of questions that dog owners have about how to make sure that their dog stays healthy for just as long as possible. We actually have a pretty limited idea about things like diet and, and how diet affects aging in dogs, what's the optimal diet. These are things that we can discover. Um, we can also learn about how exercise and the kind of exercise that dogs do affects how well they age. So there are a lot of ways in which what we learn from the Dog Aging Project can actually give practical help to dog owners and their dogs.